everyone hope that you are doing well my name is tiffany and i am a certified holistic health coach i am the owner and founder of the lifestyle wellness blog it's me ladyg.com and all associated platforms and i'm someone who likes to share different ways to bring wellness into your life on a regular basis and recently it has been gardening and all things green with me i wanted to come and record how i went about making my garden in such an unconventional way because i did do it in literally in like reusable bags and like felt pots and just things i kind of had just sitting around the house so i wanted to share how i did it like it's just it wasn't super hard but i wanted to share because like if you haven't haven't been following me on instagram which i highly suggest you do and i appreciate if you do everything will be in the description box i've been sharing like how i've grown potatoes in a reusable bag and just different things so i wanted to share about it because it's not super complicated but i just don't think that people have thought about it so much and also i often think that we think that we have to buy a whole bunch of different supplies in order to make something happen when really you don't really have to because there are certain youtube channels that i would watch that were literally just growing things in anything and so while i do think that there are certain things that you do have to buy and i did like having like felt pots the fabric pots and i will link the ones that i've used in the description box below and you can go and check those out as well i i didn't want to buy a whole bunch and i did have like an excess of reusable bags that i just have from like a variety of events that i've been through over two over the years and i just collected them because i was trying to be eco-friendly and i used them when i went grocery shopping and stuff like that which i still have a ton of left but for the ones that were a little bit more durable i just decided hey let me try this out and if it didn't work it didn't work but it worked okay so let me show you how i did it so the first thing you should know is that there are certain bags that are better than others that i've realized through trial and error um and also this is not the most let's say non-toxic way of going about this whole thing while it may be very sustainable because you're using the things that you have uh, around the house and you're not buying anymore i mean yes you may have to purchase dirt if your dirt your soil rather if your soil isn't up to par and we have like clay soil and i had to do all this research in order to even know this stuff in the first place because i was again this is like my first year of really doing this hardcore um but i realized that you know i could just try try the stuff out and use the bags that i have and if it didn't work it didn't work and plus on the flip side of it i wasn't using any sort of like sprays or anything to um you know to keep the the, the pests and things away so while the container that i might have been using it in may have like plastic or things on it i wasn't it's like you know you kind of give and take is what i'm trying to say you may grow it in that and it may have some uh, chemicals that m possibly may leak into the dirt soil from there which you know just as a factor is a possibility but at least I'm not adding to it by um by spraying it with anything else which is really what the huge issue is like with our food supply having to do with you know glyphosate and stuff that may be you know sprayed in or part of the pesticide and stuff so in my case I literally just kind of like left the stuff in the containers i didn't spray any things on it if i needed to um, i really actually haven't need needed to at all so it kind of worked out that well but let me show you what i used so at this point i've kind of harvested a good amount of stuff so it's not really like a, a good amount of stuff even though i have some stuff that's left but i'm going to show you mainly the bags that i've used because some of the pots and things you can find at like um, home depot or the dollar store and stuff which i've used to grow some stuff some of the pots in the dollar store but specifically for the bags because i think that's really what people want to know about as far as the reusable, ba reusable bags i literally grew potatoes in this bag see here grew potatoes in this bag it's kind of see? i started out putting like um the potatoes the seed potatoes um which i had got from i don't even remember at this point at, at like home depot or something which I'm gonna work on for next year, finding someone's a different variety. But again, this is all uh, trial and error this year. 
I started by putting it halfway with um, soil and put the seed potatoes like well a couple inches and then I put the seed potatoes in the the, the soil and then pl uh, put some soil on the top of that in, the, in there so I'll show you in the, the bags in a second but as the potatoes uh, the green started growing from these are the potatoes right here as the green started growing the the green part of the potato part then I started hilling them in the bags until it got to the top and then I harvest it when they started to die back, which is what they did. As you can see, obviously I put some holes in the bottom of the bag because you need to do that for drainage. So it's, it's that simple. That's what I did. And I actually have a couple other things that I'm growing in the bags as well, in different bags. And some of them I literally am growing in the soil bags that I have purchased. Um, once I have used the soil, I just put some left some of the soil in there and then I put the seed potatoes or whatever it is in to be just directly into the growing directly out of the bag. Now as far as the felt pots, that's what they're called. Some people, there's a company that makes like smart pots or something like that. I just went on Amazon and I was looking for the different type of like sizes that I was looking using or needed rather. I have different sizes. I forgot what gallon this is. Maybe this is like a three gallon pot, but this is literally what they are you can move them around the really good thing about them is that once you plant whatever in it it really is hard to overwater it's actually kind of the the con I guess about this is that these bags is that they don't hold water which is good so that it allows for good drainage but the, the con is that you have to water it kind of often especially if it's kind of hot where you are it's gone well so far it didn't work out it didn't work out okay but so far it's been pretty good and I've learned a lot of lessons but these were super inexpensive and they come in packs of like five. I even found at one point they came in a pack of like 12. So I'll link a couple in the description box below and hopefully I'll have a blog post with this and I will include <laughs> that in the blog, blog post as well. And you can go and check that out, the blog post and put it in the description box once it gets up. But these were really good. I would definitely recommend them and you can reuse them. That That's the good thing over let's say the bags again these bags this one I probably will use again because it was it's still good it's still durable inner part of this particular bag has like um, a fabric lining so you know but the outside outer part has um, a plastic coating on it but again if you're just looking to start growing things I would highly recommend to just just try it out see what happens and it worked it worked it worked it worked so let me go show you it in the actual soil okay so here is one uh example when i said i just literally used the bag of soil um the remains of the bag that i was the, uh, when i purchased the soil and then i used the rest and i just put the seed potatoes these are actually potatoes that had spudded spud from ones that I purchased, organic potatoes. So I just put them in there and I've been hilling them with dirt. And yeah, I just put uh, holes on the bottom part. Same thing with this bag right here. See, I put some holes. What you'll notice too is that they will have some roots that come out the bottom part. But see, this is how, this is the end part of the harvest. The potatoes that I had originally planted early in the season and this all are in bags see right there and it, it's working out pretty well so here's the eggplant like the fairy tale eggplant that I have in a I think it's a five gallon felt pot and as you see like this has been so abundant as far as what it has produced and j literally every other day I'm coming out here cutting off um, harvesting rather but this needs a really good watering right now but as I said often you have to water this really well and the good thing is you can move these pots these felt pots around where you need to and it just worked out really really well um, I'm sure when I go to take it out the roots will be kind of like in uh, circle or whatever it is but it's worked out really well let me back up a little and you can see there okay so we have the these were like the patio tomatoes so they were really small and I was thinking okay this 
this pot that I have them in, this felt pot would be really too small, but this has produced so many potato, um, tomatoes rather. And yes, these need a good watering right now, but they've produced so many tomatoes so far. Um, I come out almost every day here and, and pull out a fair amount and we can't, my daughter eat, and well me, my daughter and myself, we eat them up so fast. So again, I'll, everything will be linked in the description box below, but they've been so easy and this would be very, very easy. Look at that. See right there? I dropped, one just dropped off. Um, it would be so easy to grow in a small area. So I highly, highly recommend it. So I hope that that inspired some people who are looking for ways to do it on a budget and you know just didn't think about ways that they you know that just on a budget and in a small space that you can grow things okay just try it and see if it works if you like this video make sure to subscribe make sure to uh, check out my blog it's me lady g.com i hope to have more things coming out and well maybe as we roll down to the fall who knows but just in general uh, i do like to share videos that will calm the nerves and help others okay so hopefully i'll see you again if you aren't following on instagram please do and i'll see you guys next time